What's up everybody? Jesse, Slot City Fishing, coming at you today with a video by request. Got a lot of feedback from my Spin Fisher 5 versus 6 video. A lot of hate and a lot of praise, but I think that generally uh, the majority of the comments, yeah, all agreed with me. And then I did one about the conflict too, and not recommending that reel. Um, in my reviews, I'm not gonna wave a brand new reel that I just opened up out of the box and tell you an opinion about it that you should go buy it or something. No, uh, today's video is about the Pen Battle 2, and you can see this is a heavily used reel. Uh, I bought this reel three years ago, used for $40, and it didn't look much better than this when I bought it. And then here's a relatively new one. I also bought this used, I want to say for $60, and this was like six months ago. And I haven't really used it that much because I have some other reels that I prefer these days. Um, but yeah, hopefully by the end of this video, I can show you how to take these things apart, how to clean them, put new grease and oil in them. And uh, I'll give you my honest feedback uh, about these reels and whether or not you should buy them. Uh, when we first started getting really serious about fishing, it was in Pensacola, Florida. And uh, if you are from the Gulf Coast, you know that spinning reels are like the majority of what people use. Um, and ev everybody just made it sound like the Pen Battle 2 was the best one. Like the, not the cheapest one, the most affordable best reel at the time. Um, whether or not that opinion holds true for me now, we'll get into that later. But anyway, um, battle twos. Uh, so you can see I have two of them right here. And then if you watch some of my older videos, you'll see the majority of the reels that I've used on this channel have been the pen battle two. Um, but yeah, let me tell you some things about this reel before we get into it. Um, if you watch my other videos, I don't really get into specs uh, because I think that they're silly. Like, uh, I'm sure that this reel has, if not 20 pounds of drag, pretty close to it. But if you're fighting a fish that requires 20 pounds of drag out of a size 3,500 or 4,000 reel, you're doing something wrong. Um, even like your big giant reels, they don't even need that much drag. And like, I don't. You'd have to be fighting a gigantic game fish pulling them off a structure to require. A, uh, a drag capacity that big. I think that that's a marketing ploy to get you to try to buy that reel. Um, even your, your really, really nice high-end reels, they don't even have that much drag. I just don't be persuaded to buy a reel because it has high drag capacity. What should be important to you is like the smoothness of the drag, uh, how much the reel weighs, um, how smooth the reel is itself, whether the bearings are sealed or not sealed. Um, another thing is, CNC gears, I don't know why that's like a hot thing right now. And also IPX6 waterproof reels. Like don't get your wheel, don't get your reels wet and you don't got a problem. Like also not a, a, a selling point for me. If you want a water tight reel, that's very affordable. Right now the Spin Fisher 5 is on sale for crazy cheap, man. That's, that's your reel, that's what you should get. Um, HT100 keyed carbon drag. I'll take this guy apart here in a second and that way you can see it. It's got some kind of alloy metal spool on it. Um, this one here, I like notched the spool and some people would probably trash that reel at that point or try to buy a new spool. You don't gotta do that, man. Get some like, you know, uh, 200 grit sandpaper and then work it down to like thousand grit and then you can make that lip just as smooth as like the painted side, man. Save your money, you don't gotta spend money on real parts. Um, it has an auto bail trip. This reel is kind of old so it probably won't do it very well. Um, yeah, gear ratio, six, two to one, 37 inches per turn. Yeah, the thing that makes this reel different than the Fierce is that it's all metal. So it has a metal rotor, it has a metal body, it's got a metal handle on it. It's different from the Fierce 2 because the Fierce has a plastic rotor and it has felt drag instead of carbon drag. Um, but there's a reel that contends with this reel now and uh, I'll let you know about it at 
the end of this video, but yeah, we don't really have a lot of these anymore, man, because to be completely honest with you, we've moved m m like majorly to, uh, to Shimano reels. Uh, they got a couple that bang for the buck we think are, are better. But with that being said, uh, you came here to learn about this reel. So let's take this guy apart and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when she's all broken down. This is how you take out your drag stack. You just unscrew it. And then what I do is that piece was on top. And this drag actually looks pretty nice still. So if it was just me doing this, just to do maintenance on my reel, I actually wouldn't have even taken it down that far, but that's how you disassemble your drag stack. Very easy to do and take off the handle. The key when you're taking these reels apart, man, is to put them in an order that you can remember how to put them back together. If you can do that, then you don't got to worry about, you know, losing anything. See, man, you can see this. I wasn't joking, man. This is a reel that we use a lot. All right, there's that bottom cap. Take that guy off. That will slide off now. And then this whole plate will pop off. And then here's your first look inside. Pretty gross but actually not that bad and uh, this reel has been completely submerged in water multiple times man this is why I think the whole IPX6 thing is silly because if you clean your reels even if you do get them wet they're not gonna get destroyed man um, we do a lot of kayak fishing on this channel you just take off that bearing and then Here's the, uh, how you get this rotor off. Take that guy out. Then this should come out. Then you can start just taking this guy all the way down. All right, so we pulled that guy out. Now you take off this dude right here. Then use your crescent wrench. Take that guy off. And now you should be able to pop off this rotor. All right, then the rotor just pulls up off of there. Then here's where your main bearings are. And then here's the uh, important stuff. That's one of your main bearings. This is your anti-reverse bearing. And then there's another little bearing on the bottom. All right, the only other thing is the roller bearing and the bail. Make 
All right, so just got this sucker taken apart. This is like a four year old reel, one that we really abused. It didn't come apart very easily. I'll, I'll be totally honest with you, man. Uh, there is one screw that was stripped out, but that's because whoever owned the reel before was an idiot and stripped the screw out. Um, let's go ahead and look at this grease, see what it looks like. So, what I want you to pay attention to is the gears themselves. No notches. They don't look bad. That's where people say that like the new reels are way better is because they have um, like CNC gears. Oh my God. But you can see no notches on those gears. And then the bearings, they, they didn't have any play in them either. And this is a four year old reel. So now what we're gonna do is get a little bowl. We're gonna soak the bearings in some uh, degreaser and then we'll put some new oil inside of them. And then same deal with all the little mechanical parts. We're gonna get all the old grease off of it. That way we can put new grease into it. Then we'll put it back together. And if all goes to plan, man, it should work like a relatively new reel, but uh, if you're watching this, the, a pin bat or a pin fierce two, same exact way to clean it. Uh, Conflict two is not much different. If you can do this, you can take apart the other ones. Uh, Spin Fisher's got a little more stuff in it, but not not hard to do at all, man. Just do it yourself. You have a lot more pride in it, knowing that you did it, and it'll save you some money. But yeah, I'm gonna strip off all this grease, put this guy back together, and then uh, we'll I'll show you how to put the grease in it or whatever. And then I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so how we're gonna do the cleaning. So I have this real clean. It's just a mild solvent and it's gonna eat up all that old grease out of the, uh, and oil out of the bearings and off the gears. So we'll put this in this little uh, Tupperware. Make sure that everything's coated. We're gonna let that soak for like 15 minutes or so and uh, get all the old grease off of it. Don't do that with your anti-reverse bearing because there's parts in there that the solvent will break down and then it won't work as well. But uh, everything else should be good. Your anti-reverse, just like get any dirt or nasty stuff off there and then lightly grease it, put it back in and then it, it should be good to go. And then that's it, man. Uh, We'll let it sit, then we'll throw some new grease in it, put new oil on the bearings, put it back together, and then that'll be the end of this video. All right, so that's where we're at right now. We're just putting it together the exact same way that we took it apart. Uh, all the bearings, we're hitting it with real butter. You just put a little bead around it and twist, like uh, spin the bearing a little bit, and then the oil will get down in there, and then just hitting it with some grease and just putting it back together, man. Nothing to it. Well, there you have it. Um, to whoever it was that asked me to do this video, I hope that I answer your questions of what a four-year-old pin battle looks like, how durable it is, is it still going? Yeah, man, it's still going strong. It ain't the prettiest old girl, but she's still working, still pretty smooth. Uh, here's a new one for comparison. Yep, I mean, it's quieter, it's really not much smoother. Pin reels aren't crazy smooth to begin with anyway, man. If you want a smooth reel, go with Shimano. That's my opinion. Um, now, would I recommend a pin battle two? Should you buy a pin battle two? Um, so we talked about it a little bit earlier, a pin battle two has metal parts on it. Vice of Fears has some plastic parts and a felt uh, washers. If you want to stick with pin, like if you're a pin fanboy, I used to be, um, I think that the best bang for the buck reel that they make is the Pursuit. Uh, the Battle isn't a sealed reel, so we're not going to go that direction. I think the Spin Fisher 5 is the best reel that they make right now for the money, but it costs a little bit more, but it's a different class of reel. It's a sealed reel. For an unsealed reel, uh, the Pursuit 3 has the same drag. Uh, it's not all metal. 
So the rotor isn't metal, the body body isn't metal, but neither is the Conflict 2, and that's a $170 reel. And I, I personally don't like that reel at all, but this reel is 50 bucks, you can buy it at Walmart. If you flip this out of the boat, it's gonna be a bad day, but you probably aren't gonna like cry over it. If you flip the Stella out of the side of the boat, or even a more moderately priced reel, let's say a, a Stratic, or a, you know, a Daiwa, whatever, uh, you're probably gonna be really upset. These reels, man, this for what they do they're awesome and watch the channel you'll see i catch a lot of fish on this reel and this is the direction that we're going man is we just want to show you guys that you know you can catch a lot of fish on cheap gear and have a blast you know do we have nice gear oh yeah man i got a shimano uh, karate k slammer threes all that stuff and it's fun but uh we're kind of moving away from all that just you know it what's more important is being out there on the water and having fun with your friends and catching fish man so uh yeah hope that answered your questions if you aren't a sub already consider subscribing to the channel uh yeah thank you guys for watching